getting all Americans is what it's all about, and um, you know, trying to trying to get national championships. Um, I think we left one out there. Tanner Weatherman, I think we coaching coaching mistake. You know, we didn't uh, you know coaching mistake, wrestling mistake, not getting away. But um, obviously, um, we got some matches to go tomorrow, so we want to finish off strong. This tournament, so it's an up and down tournament. You feel good, you you get depressed, you get. You know, it, it's a roller coaster this this thing, and um, you got to ride it. You got to ride it hard, and so um, we're hoping to, um, you know, end strong tomorrow. And I think that's uh, that's what we're looking at right now. But obviously, three All Americans. Um, you know, we're, we're happy with, uh, with those three guys. A year ago, Michael Marino had four wins at this time of year. <laughs> this year, he has four wins in one single day. All American, like his dad. You just talk about him. I tell you what, um, you know, it, it, it's it's a lot to be said about confidence and um, supreme confidence. Uh, to win at this level, you have to have supreme confidence, and he didn't have that last year. Uh, we lost it somewhere along the, along the lines. He was a redshirt freshman, and um, when the team struggled, he struggled. But um, he's had a great year. I mean, when you look at his year, he never really got the respect he deserved. When you look at all of our guys, uh, they never got the respect they deserved as far as the rankings are concerned. Uh, our team, we never got we never got um, where we thought we should be, and we're still not there yet. There's a long ways. It's a long ways off. But that's you know that's, that that didn't motivate us at all. Um, um, I think our guys believed how good they are. But Mike Marino, um, he's came to wrestle uh, every single match this year. And so that didn't change uh, here at the national championship. And that's why he's an All-American. Kyvin, a pretty emotional thing for him to, to get it done and become the first father and son duo in Iowa State history to be All-American. Well, I didn't know that. That's, that, that's, that's news to me. But, or um, second, or first, yeah, you know, yeah. Well, I think Mike Marino and yeah, his yeah. dad is where A little before, so, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, a little before, yeah. Okay, so... Um, um, it's, it's amazing, you know, what he's able to do, and I think you continue to see what we've dealt with pretty much all year is that, um, you know, his father passing has um, zapped his energy a little bit, you know, zapped his, his intensity, and, um, and so we ha constantly have to, you know, remind him that, you know, you got to stay focused and you got to wrestle accordingly in order to have success, and um, uh, I'm happy he was able to win that match. It was pretty, pretty nerve-wracking, you know, watching him stand around and not get his offense off but I think if you're if you're watching from afar uh, when this kid wrestles he's hard to deal with and so we just got to keep him wrestling we got to get through this we got to get through tomorrow and then um and then we'll cry then we'll then we'll, then we'll shed our tears for for Willie again but um but we still have still have some matches to go and he understands that thank you coach you guys he's, got a, he's got a contract extension coach and you got a lot of people who who are, are dogging on Iowa State you guys had a rough stretch you got a contract extension um, do you think that this shows? I mean, three All-Americans. You guys, I think you're. Right. I, I don't. I don't care. I don't care what what people think about Iowa State as far as um, you know what's happened over the last couple of years with our program. If you're if you're ignorant to the fact of what what went on with inside our program, and um, and you can't just look at the national tournament and see some of the rewards and benefits that our program have given given other programs, then you then you don't know what's going on um, um, uh, in wrestling. So um, obviously I'm happy with the contract extension. Um, appreciated that my athletic director and my president have been trusting me with Iowa State uh, again. Um, but we're just building this thing, and we've had to build it, and we're going to continue to build it. And um, regardless of um, what it proves to anybody, we knew what we were doing from the start. We knew what we had to build, and so you're going to have those people that are going to hate for the sake of hating, and uh, that's their job. And so we, we understand that, and we'll, uh, we'll keep moving forward. Is it a process? Like I'm looking at Virginia Tech, looking at Oregon State. You know, they're they're right now in the top ten, getting in the top ten. Is it that, like is it a five six year process to get back to where you guys were? Well, it's been a two year process. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's been a two year process to to get back on track and to, and to perform at the level that that you want to perform at. You know, and we're, we're we're getting it done with you know some freshmen and sophomores. We should have had another freshman that should have been all American here. And so. Um, I don't know how, how long it's taken other people to do it, but when you look at you know Minnesota's program, when you look at Oregon State, how long has he been out at Oregon State? Now look at how they're performing. It's been about ten years, hasn't it? So um, six or seven, yeah, six or seven years. So um, so it's wrestling's a process. I mean, wrestling building a program's a process, and I think people that the people that really are knowledgeable about the sport that actually look within our program and, and, and think about the Andrew Longs and the Eric Thompsons and 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 and, 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 and Matt Browns, um, you know, you know, they'll they'll recognize that. You know what we had to do to get back to where we need to be, and we're still a ways off uh, from what we want to accomplish. But obviously, um, we're moving in the right direction. We're putting the right p pieces in place, and our guys are competing at a level that we can we can be happy with, and we'll keep building on that. And then it comes down to 
of putting the right right guys in your room. It comes down to recruiting and getting the right guys in your room, and that's that's a piece of the process as well. So that's that's where we're at. Awesome. All right. Well, great, great job this weekend. Right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you.